What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Let's Build with Audi. Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, residential facilities within the city. Um, I'm going to get back to this aqueduct eventually. I need to put in a building sort of at the end that sort of gathers the uh, potable water. Or I guess it, it gathers the, the storm water, the spring, the natural, whatever water it is. Uh, and then disperses it throughout the city. Uh, so I'll get back to that, but I wanted to go ahead and start filling in the city a little more here. So uh, go ahead and take a look. And before we get to it here, I just wanted to show you real quick something I worked on between episodes. I went ahead and decided that river, or the stream, the channel that went through the city looked a lot better if I just went ahead and segmented it, channelized it, and, uh, and made it more uh, rectangular looking. So, this episode pretty much started like most of the other ones have been starting. A little bit of terraforming going on here. I, I wanted to, to get rid of the complete ground uniformity in, in our uh, city here. So I was adding a little bit of uh, terrain, and then I began to notice that wall there was real close. Uh, and why not take, take full use of all this space we have here? So, do a little cheating with World Edit, through, push that ball, ball, yeah I pushed the ball back. There are no balls in this video, uh, fortunately, for everyone involved. Uh, but I did push the wall back, and then we're going to continue doing some terraforming, and we'll start laying out the foundation here for our little uh, villa area. So there you go, there's me finishing up that little uh, wall segment there. And then uh, I started playing around with the terrain some more on the inside here. Uh, I just recently learned this really cool uh, thing you can do in World Edit called Overlay. And it makes it makes things a lot easier uh, if, you, if you like to cut into the terrain a lot like I do. And then it looks really weird having like big patches of stone and whatnot and what have you and who's he what's it. So then you can just type in slashity slash overlay uh, and then like type in the block you want and it just throws grass all over that bad boy um, so there we go finished off that and then uh, I dug a big hole in the ground here and lined it with stone that's gonna end up being sort of a uh, another water feature I'm really into those for some reason I don't know why I have an affinity for water features apparently uh, but I didn't fill it up just yet I kinda wanted that to be towards the end part um, and we're going to have a nice little bridge going over it. But anyways, in the meantime, here I am laying out the foundation and starting to build up the walls of this little residential structure going in. And you'll notice as I'm making this, I, uh, I, sort of, I had sort of like the blueprint of the ground. And then as you put in the building it, or the, stru the structure itself, you have to continue to kind of chisel away at the ground so it looks natural and like I mean obviously you want the ground to look natural as possible not just completely flat like I started with uh, at the beginning of the build when we put the walls in uh, so you got to put some hills and stuff in but then you also have to consider uh, how it's interacting with the ground because uh, like I showed just there as I dug, sort of dug the hill away from the side of the wall um, you're not necessarily going to have things like that you just, just go outside and look at some buildings and see how the ground interacts with them. You're going to have a gentle slope away from the building for the most part. You're not going to have a lot of dirt piled up against the foundation. Uh, so just the, it's the details. Satan's in the details or however they say that. Uh, so yeah, just, just pay attention to the details and make it look uh, realistic as possible as you can with blocks. Basically, that's uh, my advice for now. So you see me tossing on the roof here, uh, and the the back roof I noticed um, I had to mess with the height a little bit. It was kind of low at first, and then I put it way too high. And then, as you'll see, I don't want to. Uh, you're getting in a little trouble here because I was beginning to actually block the magnificent library in the background. We don't want to do that. Um, so I made sure it was kind of low enough so you could still see a majority of the library. Uh, and then I started putting in this entrance here, which turned out pretty cool. And once I had sort of the, the main concept of that little 
entranceway put in, I wanted to go ahead and put these uh, little overhangs down. And how I sort of envisioned this building was we would have uh, these wings are going to be residential wings. There's going to be uh, sort of like a little patio area and a doorway into them. And uh, those are going to be the little dwellings. Uh, so, I, so I put on these uh, overhangs for like the little deck patio area for all the people. And then uh, they're going to have columns for them. And then we're going to throw some lights in that bad boy. Uh, and then they'll be up and running. Get some get some plumbing in there. Or did I say we're not going to have plumbing? I forget. Either way, d dig them some poop holes or something. Uh, but there's the lights, and then we're going to sort of put like a, a, a fenced off type feel to this. Uh, so that they can, you know, have their, have their stakes in peace. Not have to worry about crazy wild badgers or whatever interrupting them while they're while they're grilling beans or steak or whatever you know you know how it goes when you're grilling anyway before i get too crazy on the grilling beans subject uh, i wanted to come over here and uh kind of attach in this road as naturally as possible um so there's the road and i just led up right into where the bridge is going to start And the bridge uh, is going to have to cross not only this river that goes through our city, but also this little water feature I added. So that's a very long span for a bridge just to be a flat deck all the way across. At least it looked that way to me. So I put in some struts in the middle, um, in the middle of this river here, and then I put some more on the land. Maybe that's too much. Maybe I need some more. Who knows? I think it looks fine. And then I wanted the roof. I wanted there to be I wanted it to be a covered walkway, uh, and I wanted the roof to kind of slope up with the stairs itself themselves or whatever. Uh, so so that was kind of tricky, uh, and it took me a long time to do this roof, and it hardly seems worth it in retrospect. Uh, but you know what they say about retrospect? It's always uh, it's always sunny on the other side or something. It's always retrospect is always greener uh, where the sun doesn't shine something. Um, but eventually I ended up with a roof uh, design that I that I liked and that looked fine and will work perfectly for blocking the rain as uh, Granny walks um, over the water feature into uh, her nursing home. Uh, hopefully it's not a nursing home. It's actually, it's, it's really not a nursing home. I would like to legally retract that statement. Uh, but besides that, Here's a couple nicer views of the of the roof and the walkway and sort of everything all prettied up. So there you go. And then in, in the uh, final stage here, I went and added some windows just to further increase the detail and add some nice texturing to the surfaces. Um, all in all, not like a magnificent build. Definitely not, you know, awe-inspiring or, or crazy wicked sweet or any combination thereof, uh, but it was a necessary step in completing the city, and it definitely is starting to fill the space out a little more, and uh, I mean, people's got to have somewhere else to live, you know? They, you gotta have somewhere for, for people to live, residential area. Uh, so next time I think I might uh, tackle some more sort of filling in the area projects. Um, I do have some big things in the pipe, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, hit that big yellow squeaky button. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Deuces.